Oh, it looks like the astronaut is entering his awesome space suit. Our oh, experience is quite good till now. Yeah. Now let's explore the touch points it has. Let's see. Okay, so once we click on that, it also shows what a particular mode is in there. Namaskar. Hope you all are doing well. In augmented reality world, Apple is always the pioneer with its framework called ARKit. So if your use case at any moment demands a 3D model integration in your app for AR experience, AR Quick Look is the go-to option for you. Internally, AR Quick Look uses ARKit APIs eventually, but with the use of AR Quick Look, you can quickly have an AR experience into the place with any sort of 3D model, especially it deals with US digit models. In today's video, we are going to implement a basic AR Quick Look use case and the models we are going to download from Apple's library itself, which are freely available from the internet. As usual, before directly jumping into our coding part, we will try to decipher number of steps involved to implement a basic AR Quick Look application. Now, before moving forward, I am already assuming you have some basic knowledge of Swift and how iOS ecosystem works. Now before further ado, let's jump and try to understand the number of steps involved in our basic AR Quick Look implementation. Overall solution can be divided into basically four parts. The first of all, we are going to create a template from of AR app which is readily available from Xcode itself. The second step, we will create a custom view controller and on that view controller, we will be implementing QL preview control delegate and QL preview controller data source. And the last step would be to we will return the QL preview controller with the model which we have downloaded from Apple library. If you don't know from where we can download the models, I will show you the website. So this is the AR quick look demo from Apple website. You can download all the US digit models from here. Now before further ado, let's jump into our coding part and try to implement this using Swift. We will open our Xcode and from Xcode we will go to create new Xcode project. From there, we will choose augmented reality app. So this we will name it as demo quick look. Sunny quick look and language would be Swift. Technology would be Syncit. And that's it. We will now create it inside this folder. And this has created a baseline AR project for us. If you want to run it, you can directly connect it to the phone let me connect it to my phone and let me run it through so this is how a baseline air app will look like once you run it through it will just add an 3d model of aeroplane into the scene at your origin 000 next step would be to import the models us digit models basically which we have downloaded from the apple library so this is where I have downloaded it, where it is, it's in my downloads, Cosmos suit in reality. This is, I will drag and drop it to my folder and to the target, it's quick look, copy items if needed. Yes, it's done. Now I, I will just rename it. Okay, so I will just rename it as model. Now the second step would be to create a view controller so to create a view controller i will go into my storyboard and will create a new view controller to the background i will give it the most ugly color i can think of which is this and we'll add a button to it let's add the button in the middle exactly we will add two constraints we will name the button as next now we will give a background to the button also so that it's clearly visible what we are clicking let's give it this color uh, no it's not very good color we will give it as green color let's see how it is yes now we will create the class for this view controller View controller, we will import the quick look, AR quick look, and in view 
controller we will implement the delegates also so now we will going to implement the methods of the delegate if we can get rid of the error yeah no error so let's try to implement the stubs method stubs there it is so number of preview layer will always be i am dealing with only one 3d model here so it would be one review controller we will load the model and return the preview item as in loaded so this is how we are going to achieve it first of all we are going to load the model model name is model and if it's extension reality this is the model which we are trying to deal with model dot reality it's downloaded from the apple website itself so once we load the model once we load the model we will return it as a preview here here we are trying to return it it's basically what it's just using the url and trying to load the model and returning the preview now once we return the preview let us create a function which will handle Kivil preview controller so we will name the function as present ar quick look and we have created a object of Kivil preview controller and data source itself and we are trying to present is using preview controller there it is now we will link this button to our view controller now let's link it up and on and if we name this button as next view connect and on action we will call the method present ar quick look that's it now we will build our project and we will wait for it to build now let's run and see how our ar quick look is behaving let's click on next okay oh so we have to scale it down to a bit so that it's visible to us yeah there it is oh it looks like the astronaut is entering his awesome space suit our experience is quite good till now yeah now let's explore the touch points it has let's see okay so once we click on that it also shows what a particular mode is in there let's explore the other point oh it shows the different functionalities of the suit as well nice oh scaling is also quite intuitive it's a nice experience in object mode okay so there it is object mode is also quite intuitive and all the touch points are working perfectly navigation scaling and rotation seems quite smooth while interacting in object mode as well so it's quite intuitive to use this was the most basic implementation of ar quick look in this video we looked at how we can implement ar quick look from scratch i hope you like this video i would recommend to try it on your own also to get the grasp of ar in further videos we will deal with ar in much more detail till then bye bye